On May 17, 1990, 18-year-old Rhonda Sue Coleman was two weeks away from graduating Jeff Davis High School in Hazelhurst, Georgia. That night, part of the graduating class gathered to decorate a graduation banner to put up at school. After the banner decorating party, Rhonda and a few other students went to a nearby convenience store. Rhonda's friends would later tell police that a little after 10 p.m., Rhonda said she had to leave to get home to her 10.30 p.m. curfew. She said she was going to go through the nearby Hardy's drive through then make the three-mile drive home. That same night, one of Rhonda's classmates, Layla Marshall, couldn't make it to the banner decorating festivities because of her work schedule. When she got off work, she stopped at her boyfriend's house before driving home. Rhonda lived only two miles from Layla's house. Around 10.30 p.m. on her drive from her boyfriend's house to her own, she passed a car that was pulled over on a dirt road with its lights on. She quickly realized that the car belonged to Rhonda, and so she turned around to see if she was okay. When Layla got out of her car, she saw that Rhonda's car was still running, the lights were on, and that the driver's door was open. However, Rhonda was nowhere to be found. Layla turned off the engine and went back to her boyfriend's house to call police. She stated she and her boyfriend returned to the car to wait for the police. Meanwhile, Rhonda's parents, Milton and Gail Coleman, were worried about their daughter, who was now late for her curfew. Rhonda's dad, Milton, said his daughter was almost never late coming home, and if she was, she would always call ahead of time. Around 11 p.m., Milton decided to drive around to see if he could find Rhonda. After waiting for about 30 minutes at Rhonda's car with no sign of the police, Layla and her boyfriend went back to the boyfriend's house to call again and then returned to Rhonda's car. Police arrived at Rhonda's car around 11.40 p.m. over an hour later. While out driving to look for Rhonda, her father Milton came across the police at the scene of Rhonda's car. Police found Rhonda's purse inside her car and found footprints leading from her car towards the tire tracks of another vehicle. The tire marks indicated that another vehicle, other than Layla's, had pulled over on the side of the road that night. Three days later, on May 20th, 1990, Rhonda's body was found by a hunter about 15 miles from where her car had been found. It was in a rural, wooded area in Montgomery County, Georgia, off a country road. Rhonda's body was fully clothed and she had been burned. Investigators explained Rhonda's cause of death is undetermined because of the state of her body, which made it difficult to find her exact cause of death. He said that everyone who saw Rhonda on her last night alive is a person of interest, but no arrests have been made in the case. Rhonda was planning to attend Georgia Southern University to become a pediatric nurse. Her parents received her honorary diploma at Jeff Davis High School just two weeks after she was found. As of today, this case remains unsolved.